Southwest University Park where the 2022 baseball season, El Paso Chihuahuas baseball season, is officially underway as the Chihuahuas host the Oklahoma City Dodgers here at Southwest University Park. Yeah, and joining us now is Food and Beverage Director Adriana Ruiz. Adriana, come on in here. So what do we have here? This looks amazing. Well, we are excited to bring back one fan favorite a menu item, the carne asada fries. Mm. We've tw uh, tweaked the recipe a little bit. We got some spicy ranch in there, pico de gallo, carne asada, fresh French fries. Go ahead and Ooh. dig in. That's what this is Let for, us, right? Yes, please. Let us know what you think. Make sure you get some of that steak carne asada yeah, gotta, in there. That's yes. the point, right? Yes. So this is a fan favorite that you all brought back. Yes, so it hasn't been on our menu for two years, and we mm. figured, why not? Mm. We're back with the bang. Let's bring those carne asada fries back, add some additional sauces, and spice it up a little bit. I like rico, but yeah. gusto. Yes, just a little <laughs> bit. Yes. Very good. And what else do we have? So we also have another fan favorite, and we've added some two new recipes, was the Juarez dogs, bacon wrap hot dogs, right? This one right here has a chile relleno down the middle, Pinto beans, guacamole, spicy ranch, and obviously the bacon wrap hot dog. This one's called a lagarto dog. Say it so, again. Lagarto dog. Yes, and you can find it at Juarez Dogs at sections 106 and over at 123. And then right over here, we have a chile relleno burger. That's the signature burger that we're going to kick off the season with. Again, a little bit of spice and heat with some of the spicy ranch, shredded mozzarella cheese, the chile relleno, an all Angus beef patty, and then last but not least, our big footer, uh, spicy hot link wrapped in bacon oh, yeah. with guacamole, spicy ranch, some chicharrones, and it's called the vampiro dog. Vampiro dog. Vampiro, yes. When you're like, in, in, in the sense of just inspiring all this, kind of what, what are some of the things you look for, especially ballpark food is a staple, right, for, yes, for, for baseball? Absolutely, especially in minor league baseball, right? It's all about, you know, having variety and switching it up and crazy things. So definitely we listen to our fans. We, uh, the team and everybody does get uh, surveys and focus groups, and they wanted to see something different. They wanted to see some of the favorites back, hence the carne asada and some of the Juarez dogs options. And then we also look at our region, right, between Las Cruces, Juarez, El Paso. Um, we had some hatch green chili uh, going in on some of our fries, the Chuco Loco fries that fans can oh, find I in love City those. Hall Grill. Yeah. Some green chili, bacon, fries, and, and again, just spicing it up just a little bit and, and with some of our items and and fans can expect different items as the season progresses we're going to introduce some new items maybe every two months and, and keep it fresh i like that i like that yeah. which one's your favorite which yeah. one should i oh, dig into here my goodness if i had to pick one probably this the vampiro do you want to go for that no, one you go for it okay. <laughs> you go right. for it you don't have to tell here me twice go. here the vampiro vampiro dog, dog. Yep. don't don't here mind me while here i embarrass me... myself here <laughs> big bite <laughs> Here, here's a napkin, Andy. Here, here you go. go. We napkins for this. <laughs> yes, we do. You can get a little messy. Yeah. yeah. You do. That and means it's good. You also have some dessert options, right? That's we what we're sure trying. do. Yeah. So um, we brought back churros from Delicious Mexican Eatery downstairs. We also have funnel cakes back in the ballpark from Southwest Kettle over at Section 103. Um, we also have soft serve ice cream, which is a first yeah. for the ballpark. Very We've cool. never had soft serve ice cream. And fans can find that at Chico's Eats and Treats downstairs in Sections 122, 123. Yeah. How important is food to the game, to baseball? It, How it, important is that? It, it's all part of the experience. Right. Yeah. You, you can't come out to the ballpark without you know enjoying the game hoping that the, that the team wins and then having an ice cold beer or a great margarita with one of these items it, it really it helps bring it all together or two or th three <laughs> two <laughs> excuse or three. me okay? it's spicy it's i told water. you it's spicy there yeah <laughs> all right well thank you so much for joining us thank you Adriana. and this uh, amazing food delicious we will be right back we're going to go ahead and send it over uh to break right, get some water <laughs>